if you see in Western countries and and uh, and um, and look look into the case of of, of 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 Portugal, for example, Portugal is a small country. Uh, the biggest company in Portugal is bigger is three times bigger than the biggest company in in, in Poland. Of course, this is a reason of its internationalization. That is the uh, in this case, they're talking about Montenegro. We have eighty percent of the turnover outside. But this was because we had space to start it 17 years ago when we came into Poland, when we went into Latin America. And, 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 and what will happen if, this, if there is not given this space? The, the Polish companies will not be able to grow. They will not be able to grow abroad. And these companies will not achieve a, a relevant position in terms of Europe and in terms of worldwide, in terms of rankings and, 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 and position. A country like Poland, if you look into countries with similar similar size of Poland. They are three, four, five, ten companies of uh, one billion euros. In Poland we have one company, two companies that are capable of doing this. All of the other ones are below one billion. It is it's very hard for these companies and uh, and, and it's main, mainly for, for local investors uh, and, and, and the local entrepreneurs to, to, to survive in the market so aggressive. What what do I mean by the contractors cannot breathe in in, 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 um, in Poland? The issue is that the market is, is in terms of, of, of margins, is very depressed here in Poland. And then this has meant that the co contractors have to focus each time more on their current operations and on the process. They don't have time to, to look into diversification, to look into, into, into internationalization. And this means also that they don't have the financial capacity to do it. When the clients, and uh, when the clients are, are in an aggressive matter, as you saw, uh, with reason, without reason, uh, sometimes it depends. Some companies were more successful, other, others not. This means that the companies, if they are in a bankruptcy procedure, how can they go abroad? How can they internationalize? How can they uh, diversify? And this will be critical because if they focus, they can they can sustain and they can they can survive in their current operations, but they cannot expand. And if they cannot expand, if they cannot diversify. This will be a problem in 2020, 2021, 22 when the current EU funds finish and no one is, knows what's going to be after. Will there be more funds? Will there be no, not more funds? Is the private sector investor investing in compensating in PPPs? Okay, but companies need to prepare themselves. They need to have, find a, a sustainable, uh, sustainable base of diversification that allows that if one sector decreases, the other one grows. And if there is no space, and no capacity for the companies to have uh, profitability and to be sustainable. They cannot breathe, and they can, if they cannot breathe, they cannot go, they cannot diversify, and they cannot grow. I wouldn't say the problem is specifically in public procurement. I think there is a big lack of technical know-how from the client side to discuss the solutions, and this is reflected in the public procurement law. Because if there is a capacity to, to discuss the problems technically, there is a capacity to make a decision at a lower level because people are understanding what the companies are, are trying to claim or trying to discuss. And this means that the relations can improve from there. When this capacity doesn't exist and there is only a focus, we have to do this any, any, any way, any, any matter. And this is a budget and this is if, if it's over and if it's my problem, it's still your problem. This if the clients have this position. Uh, it will be impossible and for them to discuss this and to understand the problems of the companies they need to develop their technical side and the technical capacity to analyze and if that happens the, the public procurement law can change one million times that is not important what is important is that people can sit and discuss technically understand the constraints and make a sustainable decision based on what is the technical reality of whose fault it is whose fault it's not